Hi, I'm Barry Garcia with Nanlite, and today we're going to talk about the Forza 300 and 500. Now, the Forza 300 and 500 are a lot alike, with the exception of one is a 300 watt LED and the other is a 500 watt LED. The true difference that you're going to see is usually in the power supply of the actual fixture. The 300 is a little bit smaller than the 500 watt power supply that comes in the sled. Now, one of the cool things about the 300 and 500 is that both are very powerful and both can give you all that light that you're looking for when you're trying to create something. The 300 itself is a metal frame surrounded by carbon fiber. Um, the actual LED is what we call a cob or chip on board LED and it's 5600K. Now, the 300 and 500 both have very high CRI and TLCI ratings. So they have really good color accuracy. And that's what we're always looking for from our LEDs. So the 300 and 500 both have a dual sided yoke with a 5 8 inch receiver on the bottom. Now, one of the nice things about that is we've given you the ability to put a 90 degree hole in the receiver. So it makes it really easy to mount anywhere that you might want to. So also on the 300 and the 500, you have the ability to control the light from the sled. Now, in doing so, you control the brightness, you can control the effects. Now, in the brightness, you have the ability to turn the light from zero to 100%. Uh, in the menu at options, you have quite a few things that you can change you have effects that you can control, which are three types of storms, three types of flashes, as well as a bad bulb, and then lastly, the TV effect. You actually have an effects button that's on the sled itself, and that actually allows you to manually affect what it is you're doing. So say, for instance, you turn on the storm and you want to actually have the lightning flash when you need it to, just hit that effect button, and that'll take care of it for you. So on the 300 watt LED Forza, we have the ability to run the fixture off of V-mount batteries. 14.8 volt V-mount batteries run the actual 300 watt LED light. And you usually can run it for roughly around two and a half hours of 100% full power light output. And that pretty much allows you to do whatever you want to with that light fixture. Now on the 500 light, that actually runs off of 26 volt batteries and you're getting roughly the same amount of hours at 100% out of the 500 light. But it takes two 26 volt batteries to keep that light running for that amount of time. The two batteries actually help keep the light color consistent throughout the entire time that you're using the battery. So if you're dimming up from zero up to 80%, that color is going to stay the same all the way up and down the chain. And that's important to know so that you've got good color with whatever you're shooting. So does it have DMX? Well, yes, it does. Both the 300 and 500 have DMX inputs and outputs. So what this allows you to do is to be able to control multiple lights in any type of setting, whether it be studio or field, and give you the creative freedom that you need. So the 300 and 500 both have the ability to be addressed to use with Nanlite's wireless system. In the CNW2 that we have, it allows you to create 512, much like a DMX, address the lights and control them wirelessly or with our app. One of the options that you have on the 300 to 500 is the ability to turn the fan off on the head. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to make it obviously very quiet. Now, when you turn the fan off, you're only gonna have the ability to go up to 80% on the light. And again, these lights are so bright, you're really not gonna notice that much of a drop off in the fixture. But this just gives you the ability to be extra quiet if you're in a studio setting. So the 300 and 500 have quite a few accessories that you can actually work with. Now remember, on the front of the 300 and 500, you have that standard Bowens mount or S mount. So you can use pretty much the sky's the limit for any type of modifier that's out there on the market. But Nanlite has some really great modifiers that can really help with creating whatever it is you're trying to create. On the softbox side, they have different types of softboxes that you can try with grids that gives you that really large soft source that we're all looking for. You also have a 10 inch Fresnel, a true glass Fresnel that gives you the ability to throw that hard light or to shape or cut that light should you need it. And then lastly, you have the remote control. The remote control allows you to be able to turn that light on or off or be able to change the address or just control the brightness. Thanks for watching.
If you have any more questions, you can go check us out at nanlightus.com. Or if you have any questions about this specific video, you can ask below.